in this video lecture, I'm going to try and solve a few possible questions relating moles and moles to uh, related to moles and stoichiometry, but involving redox reactions. So here's this question. It's an MCQ question, and the question states that there's a 10 cm cube sample of 0.3 mole per dm cube, Tl plus NO3 minus. Uh, there's a compound, and this required uh, a particular amount of 20 cm cube or 0.1 mole per dm cube acidified ammonium. Uh, it's NH4VO3. To oxidize it to Tl3 plus in solution, vanadium is the only element that is reduced in the reaction. So if you look carefully at this reaction, uh, Tl is the one that is getting oxidized. So it's Tl plus 1, NO3 minus 1, and he's saying that it's getting it, it's being oxidized to Tl3 plus. So we can we can come up with an equation for oxidation. Oxidation means that it's losing electrons. So Tl in uh, is going from Tl plus NO3 minus 1 and it's getting converted to Tl3 plus. So this is what the question states. This is the oxidation part. Now if you look carefully uh, about this reaction, uh, I'm not really interested in a balanced reaction right now. Uh, I'm just interested in Tl plus 1 over here. So Tl plus 1 is going to Tl3 plus which means that it's losing two electrons. So I'm right, right now I'm not really interested in where, what happened to the NO3 minus 1 ions. I'm just uh, trying to figure out that Tl plus 1 got oxidized to Tl3 plus. I might as well remove this uh, NO3 minus ion because I think that's irrelevant for the moment. So Tl plus 1 is getting oxidized and it's uh, changing into Tl3 plus which means that it's losing a total of 2 electrons. Now moving on, if something is getting oxidized, another thing must be getting reduced. If something is losing electrons, then there must be something else that must be gaining electrons. So the question states that vanadium is the only element that's reduced in this reaction. So uh, initially vanadium was in this form. It was in the form of NH4VO3. So initially we had NH4VO3. And he's specifically talking about this vanadium over here and he's saying that vanadium is the only element that has been reduced. So, so V is reduced. So we need to figure out uh, how, which means that it's gaining electrons. We need to figure out how it's gaining electrons. So before uh, moving on and writing an equation for reduction, I first need to figure out what is the charge on V? What is the initial charge on V? And I, we need to figure out how oxidation states were calculated. So, so this is NH4 plus and the other ion must be VO3 minus. So I'm trying to figure out what is the original charge on vanadium. So since it's VO3 minus, so I'm going to I'm going to take VO3 minus 1. The individual charges must add up to minus 1. So that means V can be taken as X. Uh, the three oxygens, remember oxygen always has, a, has an oxidation state of minus 2. That would be multiplied by 3. So that's that those are the individual charges in VO3 minus 1 and they should be equal to minus 1 and if you solve for X, X was the oxidation state of vanadium you would figure out that it comes out to be equal to plus 5. So now I know that the original state of V in NH4VO3 was V plus 5 so I can I can now try and figure out a reduction reaction. Uh, the reduction reaction would be Let's underline this to highlight. This was the oxidation part. Now we're talking about the reduction part. So I know, and the question states that vanadium is the only element that is getting reduced. So that means that vanadium originally is plus five, and since it's getting reduced, so it's it's gaining electrons. Now I don't know how many electrons it's gaining. So let's write it's gaining n electrons. But and he's also not told me what the product is going to be. So since it's gaining electrons, so it's probably we it would be the plus five charge would decrease since it's gaining electrons. It's either plus four or plus three or plus two or plus one. So I don't even know what the what the final charge. The question doesn't state that. So uh, we have this reduction equation, and what the question is asking is that you have to tell the final charge on vanadium that since it's getting reduced, that means it's gaining electrons. So and he hasn't told us anything about how many electrons it's gaining we need to figure that out so but we need to find out what is the original what is the final oxidation state on vanadium after it has gained electrons so there's one species that is losing electrons and there's another species that is gaining electrons 
Now coming back to the question, you can see that uh, the moles of Tl plus 1 can be calculated. He's given you the volume. So the volume is known. Volume is uh, 10 cm cube. So the volume is known and the concentration of Tl plus 1 ions is also known. So using the formula of uh, which is moles is equal to. So I'm going to try and find the moles now. Uh, so moles is equal to concentration into into volume so it's basically equal to uh, concentration is 0 0.3 0 into volume is 10 cm cube which should be in dm cube so I'm going to divide that by a thousand to make that in dm cube and the answer that I'm going to get is 3 into 10 is power minus 3 moles So I found the moles of Tl plus 1 ions and similarly if you look carefully uh, you are also given uh, the moles of ammonium uh, NH4VO3 so the moles of NH4VO3 would be the same as the moles of uh, vanadium so the volume is given and the concentration is also given so using the same formula I'm going to try and find the moles of uh, NH4VO3 so it's 20 cm cube in, so concentration into volume so it's going to be 0 0.10 into volume which in this case is 20 and this should be divided by 1000 and the value that I'm going to get so my moles in this case is equal to this and the value that I'm going to get is 2 into 10 raised power minus 3 moles. Now I'm going to use the moles that were, that were calculated above and uh, Put them in the in my oxidation and reduction half equations. So Tl plus one, the moles are coming out to be three into ten raised power minus three moles. And for vanadium, now remember that NH4VO3 contains uh, one V. So if you uh, if you have ten NH4VO3, you would have ten V. So so the amount of moles of uh, NH4VO3 would be the same as the moles of uh, V. So this are uh, equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles. So we're going to put that in our reduction equation. So V plus 5, the moles are 2 into 10 raised power minus 3 moles. Now this is the moles of Tl plus 1 and V plus 5 uh, have been calculated. They were given in the equation. Now if you look at the first equation, we know the first equation, what the first equation is. So 1 Tl plus 1 loses 2 electrons. So if you have... 3 into 10 to minus 3 moles of Tl plus 1 so the amount of electrons lost would be double that so it would be 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 moles of electrons based on the ratio that 1 Tl plus 1 loses 2 electrons so the amount of electrons lost would be double the amount of Tl plus 1 so 3 into 10 to the minus 3 moles so the amount of electrons that were lost is 6 into 10 to the minus 3 now here comes the interesting part which is that the amount of electrons that are lost should be the same as the amount of electrons that are gained. So if Tl plus 1 is losing 6 into 10 to the minus 3 moles of electrons, then V plus 5 must be gaining 6 into 10 to the minus 3 moles of electrons. So, so the amount of electrons gained must be the same as the amount of electrons that are being lost. So I'm going to, I now know that since Tl plus 1 is losing these many electrons, V plus 5 must then be gaining these many electrons. So I figured this out. So I know that uh, 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles of V plus 5 are gaining 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles of electrons. Now if you look at this uh, the ratio carefully, the ratio is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 ratio 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 which basically bo uh, boils down to its one ratio 2. So what I now know is that if I have 1 V plus 5 then it's going to gain two electrons. So I've now figured out what the value of N is. So I can rub N off because I now know that it's basically equal to two. According to the ratio, one V plus five would gain two electrons. Two into 10 to the power minus three moles of V plus five are gaining six into 10 to the minus three moles of electrons. So it's one ratio two. So one V plus five ends up gaining two electrons. And the, now the final part. So if V plus five gains two electrons, the final charge on vanadium is going to be so it's V plus 5 gaining 2 electrons so the final charge of vanadium would be equal to it's going to be equal to plus 3 and that's your answer so the answer to this question is C